Hello, and welcome to Perspectives. My name is Jeff Brenner, and I am your host. Parents have become so obsessed with the perfection of their children that new products are being developed around the helicopter parent concept. Where do we draw the line on overparenting? Well, everyone, uh, since I am the only parent on this panel, I do have my own uh, perspective on how to raise a child, even though I grew up in a, in a family that really allowed me to do everything I wanted to do. But right now, uh, because I'm a parent, I think that I would not let my child do the same thing as what I did. And in this article, I think it's, it's a little bit of overkill because I think these parents are really... Um, they're overdoing it. They're really not giving the, the child enough. Um, and what, where are they overdoing it? What do you mean specifically? Let's just say if uh, your child was to go to a, um, a school dance or something, mm -hmm. okay? And then you tag along as the, you know, chaperone. Okay. But you want to be in the next seat as with your daughter. <laughs> you know, with that guy. Don't you think that's a little bit too much? Yeah, so you're talking specifically oh, about the, the overprotectiveness, the hovering, right. And I disagree with that in the article. What I, I, I agree with that aspect of the article that people are yeah, being overprotective and hovering over their children from an overprotectiveness standpoint. Mm -hmm. But the rest of the article, the premise, I disagree with. I don't think that there's overparenting going on out there in America. You go to the mall and deal with, you know, spoiled brats, you know, all day long. I think that there's underparenting going on and anybody who goes out in public uh, can see that that's that's what's happening my question is what what happened what happened to manners being taught you know mm -hmm. right now we're, we're so hung up on oh I want my child to have everything I, I want them to be the best in the world can we start with teaching these children manners I mean I've never seen more rude children <laughs> in my life yeah. I agree you know with you. Yeah, I think that this days. is similar but this is two different topics yeah. I think one of them is the fact that children are raised without any manners. The other one is is that these parents who uh, start out when their children are in preschool worrying about a college education. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. So while you're concerned about the college education, while you're concerned about what they're going to be in life, start with teaching them manners. I think p part of the problem is, is that there's so many more people than there ever were before and that everybody has to fight for everything or they feel like they do. So I think a lot of parents don't want to see their kids get passed over, so they teach them to fight to get to the front all the time because there's always going to be someone in front of you. I think that that might be, that I see a lot of that. I'm not a parent, but I see it, you know, when I go about my life. Right. That right. they teach their kids, you better get up there. If you don't push your way to the front, there's like 30 other kids in the class. You're not going to get yeah, it if you don't. And that, that means being rude. But that must be so stressful for kids yes. now. I mean, right. I the wouldn't want to be a kid problem. now, you know? Right. I mean, it, it seems like, I think there's a combination of both going on, underparenting and overparenting. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, kids, it doesn't seem like they can even just go out and play and get in the dirt anymore, you know? Well, you look, you look that at that these... But see, excuse me for interrupting. I think that's still a part of the underparenting. I don't think that's overprotectiveness. I think that parents are just too, you know, e eager to sit them down in front of the, you know, the, the, the video games or whatever. These parents are dropping their kids off in the Mercedes and the kids aren't being taught manners in the home. They're not being taught to do their homework. They're not being taught anything. Mm. So I also so I also disagreed with this crispy idea that these kids are so burned out by college age because there's been so much of a focus on success. I think that may be a, a small percentage of the population, but I don't think that really reflects the majority of, of parenting out there. At least what, what also stood out for me was that it says the average child has 150 toys. Right. I, know, I don't that's remember having yeah, any toys. Yeah, I know toys. that should be. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They have too <laughs> many choices like and they can't buy them. I had a Barbie yeah. and it's but, I know. And okay. I, know some I, I like admit that. I'm, I'm not a, a mom, but I am an auntie and I admit my... Hmm, I bought my seven-year-old niece a cell phone, and, and, and oh God, yeah, and, and uh, you know, it hurt. Well, because I got her sister one who was ten, and I just felt bad about she didn't have one, and so. But at the same time, I even though I try to give her things to make her happy, I still, you still, I teach her manners. Six, like you restrict cute. her minutes, is that what you? Yeah, mean? I, I, yes, oh, okay. texting only, young lady. So you know, it, you, I just think that. If we, we parents are too busy trying to be their children's best friends. Right. I yeah. think mm -hmm. that you know we're trying to teach them how to be the best in the class. You know, you look at little, you look at little league. I mean, my God, these parents are fighting. These right. parents are, are get away from my child. I mean, let right. the children play. Let right. them have a That's good time. I mean, you want to teach them to want to do well in life, 
but not to the point to where they're just it's just too much pressure. You said on the one hand there's too much pressure, then you said on the other hand that parents are trying to, too much to be their best friend. I mean, really, we're right. In other words, no, no, no. Because when I say it's too much pressure, it's too much pressure to make them do better, be the best. And if I make them be the best, then they'll love me. Well, listen, they'll love me, and they'll want you know that I'm their best friend. Forget being the best friend. You need to want what's best for your child. Teach them respect themselves and respect others. You know, that, that is what we grew up on. My mm -hmm. mom, it was the look. And mm -hmm. I grew up, and I always thought that what my mom didn't catch me doing, she made us think that if I, even if I don't see you, God going to strike you down. <laughs> right. So, well, we also, <laughs> but we've become such a society. It also reflects the fact that we've become such a society of victims, meaning that nobody's <clears throat> responsible for anything. We're teaching children today that whatever happens, they don't have to suffer any consequences yeah. of their actions, mm -hmm. that everything that they do is okay, and if something bad happens, it's not their fault. Well, that's, that's because that kids can now call the police on their parents for mm -hmm. getting chastised. Right, and the school. My mother would dial the head it on redial for us. Okay. <laughs> now think about call. Go call nine one one. Go ahead, try. <laughs> so, well, the schools are worried about nine one one and lawsuits and everything else. Have the either one of you ever been spanking by a teacher? No. Uh, mm -hmm. When I was very young, yes. No. Well, of course you were very young, Jeff. I mean, not in your college years. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a different kind of spanking. <laughs> 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 I love He's that. like, well, are you talking in my training class last week? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, it's just a different Ooh. day. Yeah. You know, you, it, yeah. it's so many successful people. You look at people uh, um, that are successful now and that came from the era of manners and, and, right. and do well, but just learn how and to respect most others. Most success mm -hmm. comes from self-discipline. If you talk to anybody like Trump or, or Lee Iacocca or anybody, they'll tell you A that child that's <laughs> self-discipline. You have to discipline a child. Right, and that's why I'm saying that the problem is under-parenting. If these parents really care about their kids' success, they'll teach them manners first and self-discipline and control and consequences of their actions. But if there's all these parents out there over-parenting, like this article said, then why do we have the highest uh, college uh, high school dropout rate in the country that we've ever had and why do we have such a problem with childhood obesity? Well, that's because they're over parenting in the wrong areas. Right.